So we're going to talk about this absolute legend called Rey Mysterio. I mean, he looks even better than his son. He's suddenly, after WrestleMania, he's been on and off like for months, and now he's back. He doesn't have a top, uh, like, and he looks jacked. He's what, like 83, and he's still looking like a video game character? He has the better mask, in my opinion, without the fur, and he's back for vengeance, especially because of Dominic Mysterio. They absolutely just acted like these eight or even 12 months at this point didn't happen. And they're continuing on from the, you know, father and son match we saw at last WrestleMania. And it seems like they're building up another match. And it, this one seems to be a tag team. At least it could be 2-on-2, two 4-on-4, two, four four, LWO versus uh, the other team, which is Legado del Fantasma. Now we got a new member for LWO, which is... Uh, Dragon Lee. So that was a surprise, and we still don't know exactly what match we're getting at WrestleMania. It just seems like a faction more. It just seems, you know, all sorts of crazy. Dominic is away from Judgment Day. It's a whole mess. So I wanted to ask you this question, these two gentlemen right here. What the hell is going on with Rey Mysterio and the rest of his gang? Kenny, let's start with you, man. That's the same question I have. What the hell is going on here? Because we look at Dominic Mysterio. He's been kind of building and doing this thing with the Judgment Day all year. And, you know, they're really doing their thing right now. And then yeah. out of the blue, we just see him come out on SmackDown, take the mask off. Now he's messing with Rey Mysterio again. I just don't know where this came from. I understand if they want to get Dominic Mysterio and Rey Mysterio back in the ring at WrestleMania this year. But I don't know if they got there the right way because it was just all random. Now, as far as the match that's going to happen... I don't think it's going to be those two one-on-one, -on -one, of course, being that everybody else is involved. I don't even think it's yeah. going to be two-on-two. -two. It looks like they're building some type of faction versus faction because you know they want to get everybody on the card at WrestleMania. But um, I don't know. It's just all over the place, and everything feels like it's just coming together in a weird way, just rushed at the last minute. So uh, it's going to deliver because, like you said, Rey Mysterio is a legend. Dominic Mysterio, I mean, he gets some crazy heat. And that's a blessing because people go out there and try to get that heat and they can't get it. And he gets it. Yeah. So he's over. Uh, hate him or love him, he is over. But I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Brian, do you can you make sense of all of this for us? So I just want to let you guys know it is a tag team match. It's a two on two. Was it confirmed? On two. Well, why uh, did yes. they throw Dragon they were Lee challenged. in this mix? Like, what are we so doing? So that, that's because uh, Dragon Lee is going to team up with Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar, which makes sense to me because I think we're heading towards a Carlito heel turn at this point. That's so what I, I was about this, to ask you. Why didn't we just plug yeah. Carlito since he was already in? Right. There? So the, I think this caught Carlito by surprise based on the footage that we've seen. Uh, so I think this is going to end up Carlito turning here, which honestly, bro, I don't even mind it at this point because what the hell are they doing with Carlito? They completely ruined him. But back to what we were talking about with the tag team match. Uh, yes, um, I think I think it's I, I think it's it's going to deliver. But I think that there was no build to this match at all. Like if you tell me like a month ago, like, oh, do you think Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio are going to wrestle at WrestleMania? I would have never even said that because they there's there hasn't been anything pointing towards that. And I think that's where the confusion comes from. There you go. <laughs> now we know what's happening. It is still confusing. Like you said, this has been just happening out of nowhere. And we got, after this, just one week, or am I wrong? Yeah, just one week until WrestleMania. And, like, it's, it's kind of late to build yeah. this up. And I do want to comment on Carlito, even though you said it's besides the point. I think it's very much the point. Carlito, I don't think it's his fault that uh, WWE has been not using him the way uh, yeah, 100%. you want him to. Uh, it's just, I don't see it in him, man. Like, they used to call him lazy, right? Or like, yeah, just like, when he walked, I just remember, this was months ago. I think someone was getting beat up. Maybe it was Rey Mysterio. And he was supposed to rescue them. And he just walked out of the ring, like, or not out of the ring but to the ring and if you remember matt hardy or jeff hardy did the same in aw like matt hardy was getting beat up and then Jeff hardy came out he was running he stopped started walking doing his taunts and let <laughs> matt hardy get yeah. beat up even more you know stuff like that just really shows me that you know what kind of a mindset you're in and yeah. carlito they even like he was gonna have a pay-per-view match wwe said that and then i guess they saw something that he did and they didn't think it was up to snuff, and they took that match and did it on a SmackDown. There's some definitely something going on with Carlito. Either WWE doesn't like him, or he's not up to snuff. Uh, 
So I'm glad because Dragon Lee, he's been giving it his all. Like we can argue about his promos and everything else, but when he gets into that ring, man, he's he's giving it everything. So it's definitely gonna make this uh, two on two match fun. But then why is this happening at WrestleMania? Why are we continuing this now? Where is Rey Mysterio going after this? Or Dominic is you know, is this gonna be Rey's retirement match? Well, it's not gonna feel as personal now. So it's all really mixed up in my humble opinion. Uh, but at least Santos Escobar will be at a WrestleMania match. This will be his highest profile match. And I got a question for you. Do you guys think Santos Escobar is, you know, forget Dragon Lee, forget even Andrade. Do you think he is the next big Mexican star? Kenny, you got any thoughts on that? You know, I always thought it was going to be Andrade El Idolo, just because when he's in that ring, he tears it up. I remember I never saw him before. I had no idea who he was. I went to an NXT house show, and he went out there, and he was like the star of the night. So I was like, this guy's going to be it. But I yeah. didn't know his English was as rough as it is. And we saw, I think that held him back in AEW, because while he was out there cutting promos, just too slow. You know, it's... I think it would be better for them him to, him to cut them in his native language and put yeah. subtitles on it. Because of his promo work, I think he is not that guy. So I don't know who it is. I'm not sure if it is Dragon Lee, but um, I thought it was going to be Andrade. What about you, uh, Brian? Uh, I don't know, man, because I, I just – the thing with these stars is I feel like you got to be able to talk on a mic. I think that's one thing that really separated Rey Mysterio from everybody else Yeah, is the fact yeah. that – you know, he like Rey Mysterio can go out there and cut a promo. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't know, man. If I had to pick somebody that's going to be a star or the next big star, I think it's Dragon Lee. Um, I'm not a crazy big fan of high flyers because I, I think that they're, they don't get pushed as much as they should. I feel like high flyers just don't get seen as champions yeah, like in WWE. Kind of a fact. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, Dragon Lee, like – Jeff Hardy, but – yeah, yeah, exactly. But Dragon Lee, like his ceiling is to me, U.S. or Intercontinental Champion. There's, there, I don't think there's anything above that for him. But I still think that he can be like a crazy phenomenon anyway. Um, and Santos Escobar, I don't know, man. I, I think there's, I think there's a perception. You know, when somebody jobs like a, like a lot, and then it's yeah. like now they're and now you're trying to get placed in a in a in a really good position to kind of go up that's how i feel like austin theory for example like he's jobbed so much that i don't yeah. think no matter what they do for him i don't think that there's any way for me to see him as a star yeah. so i think dragon lee is the only guy like right now that i can see like all right that's the next star for sure in 2024 y'all don't think the mask hurt them but it's not really. about expression and connecting with people and I just, it just feels like there's so many wrestlers with masks on, especially in AEW. Like, you got Kalisto coming out there with his group, and they're all, like, their masks all look the same. So when Rey, was, Rey Mysterio was kind of like the guy in America with the mask on, I just feel like, I don't know, the luchadors really, they're kind of just blending in together now. Yeah, I think WWE does a good job with that because, like, when Sami Zayn came in as El Generico, they took off his mask. When Andrade came in as someone else, uh, they took off his mask as well. Like WWE, I think the way they think about it is the masks aren't great, especially because, yeah, like I said, like you said, Kenny, we need the facial expressions to connect with the crowd. Uh, but like, first of all, it could be great merch. And if it's just one person yeah. doing it, then it'll be unique. But if it's yeah, yeah. more than one, then it starts to get murky. Um, I see Dragon Lee as another kind of like Sinkara situation where WWE will eventually phase Rey Mysterio out and Dragon Lee will take his place. And mm -hmm. in this case, I think Dragon Lee is in tip top shape when it comes to be, you know, the physical aspect. He's really good. Yeah. And then he's in the ring, is, you know, it's pretty darn good. He just needs to be careful not to injure himself too much, not to take too many unnecessary risks. And he's got a pretty long career now. Can he speak English? I know he's better like than Andretti, or that's the perception I have. But do you guys know, like, is he good at English? Is he fluent? I've, I've never heard him cut a promo, bro. I think yeah, that might be one of the problems. Yeah, that's the problem. You're right. Even in this segment, he just came out and is like, hey, I'm here. Hello. I'm the surprise. Yeah. Maybe he's part. lonely, though. Because when WWE well, sees these handsome guys come in, they take their mask off. Like Andrade. My, it was somebody else. Like they said, hey, why does this guy have a mask on? And they took it from him. Did anybody see Rey Mysterio on TikTok? He had his mask off. Yeah. Oh, and that really? was the first That was the first time. Like, obviously, I've seen Rey Mysterio without a mask off yeah. before. But um, he's always in kayfabe. Like, no matter where he's at, he always has his mask on. So it was very, very surprising to see him without a mask on TikTok. 
Yeah, well, I, I think that might mean we're at the end of the road for Mr. Mysterio. As, I, I think so, too. I think eventually, you know, I know this video is not about that, but I think eventually we're going to get Dominic and Ray again. And I think that's probably the reason why we're not getting them one-on-one -on -one against this year. I think that'll be his retirement match, and it'll be like Mass versus here or something. Yeah. Mm. I think that's actually what this video is about because, yeah, the segment is one thing, but... I just want to get down to like what is going to happen to Rey Mysterio and I think that's very likely Brian I think that might be the feature we're heading towards so well if you see a Rey Mysterio match or a Rey Mysterio segment enjoy them because those might be the last that being said ladies and gentlemen we're out of here <laughs>